look what we have here. We're back for more Melissa K and the Heart of Gold. Just a quick reminder that this is on the iPad, iPod. And if you're looking for the link to the Apple Store, you'll find it down in the video description. Now, one thing you should notice right away is that my title screen, my main menu, is different. That's right, I've got the full game. In fact, this is the Collector's Edition. Thanks to the folks over at the SDP Games. They've provided me with the copy of the game here. Now, uh, you'll notice down here I've got a new box. It's all shiny and sparkly. And it turns out we've got a whole bunch of different kind of collectibles and what have you. So, if I kind of click on puzzles, it looks like we can go back and sort of replay all these puzzles here, which is kind of cool. I like it. And I did figure out that the best times that we're seeing here are from the leaderboards, because this game has access to the uh, game center. So, that's kind of what this is all about. We've got a lot of extras to kind of play around with and what have you. And it's kind of cool. I'm uh, really excited about that. I'm going to definitely dig into this a bit later and, uh, you know, have some fun with it. There's a lot of extras in the Collector's Edition. I think the Collector's Edition is actually $10, which I think is pretty, pretty reasonable considering the length of the game. And when you buy a Collector's Edition off of Big Fish games, it's $20 for non-members and like $14 for members. So, I thought that $10 is a pretty good deal. And you know how it works on the iTunes store, that game's going on sale from time to time as well. So, so anyways, we have the full game, we're going to go ahead and play it. And the nice thing is that uh, we won't hit that paywall now, because I've got the full game. And we can continue exactly where we left off, and we left off with uncovering this cool little area underneath here. So there's some serious tunnel situation going on here. Oh, we need Sammy to come to the rescue. That's right, we have Sammy who is not a salamander. Sammy the Gecko. And that's right, I could have called him Gary the Gecko, but I thought he was a salamander. <laughs> Anyways, he's Sammy the Gecko. Because why not? So it looks like we don't want to get wet. For some reason. Whoa, holy cow. We gotta pull something out there. Dr. Von D research log. Looks like it's in World War One time frame, 1916. My name is Dr. Von D. I have been instructed by the master of my clan to create the twins. Hopefully my deep knowledge of biology and medical sciences will help me fulfill this daunting and I must say exciting task. Let me start with my CV, which is curriculum vitae, which is basically resume. By 18 I attained the professorship. Blah 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 blah. So he's an overachiever, clearly. Ooh, so what did I just get there? Key in two pieces. Alright, cool. So, as I look at my iPad, this game looks gorgeous. It's extremely responsive. The controls and the gesturing here are fantastic. I really do enjoy it. And I have not played, well, let me put it to you another way. Typically when I play these hidden object puzzle games on my iPad, I don't like the fidelity. I prefer like, you know, pointing with my mouse and clicking. But I must say they have done a fantastic job with this game here and I have got no complaints whatsoever. And I'm a sucker for archaeology, like I've said in the past. More and more archaeology, please. So I'm not sure what I'm supposed to give this dude here if he wants the keys. No? Okay, let's see what I'm gonna do. I've gotta go back here. Back to there. I'm thinking up here maybe. Yep. Alright, let's go inside. Ooh, a net. A butterfly net in perfect condition. Those are the best kind of butterfly nets. Yeah, so what else do we have here? Ooh, something's shiny there. Oh. My fingernails won't help me here. Maybe a screwdriver. So we need a screwdriver, obviously. An ancient soldier a mannequin. I won't worry about this right now. Something in the dark over there? Cool. Ooh. Four identical shaped insects. What could they possibly be used for? That's a good question. So let's have a look at our map here and we'll see uh, not 
Not really a lot of locations yet, but we'll unlock them as we go here. Oh, I just realized I have the butterfly net. Which means... We might be able to use it as a tool, as I see here now. A flashlight, maybe? There we go. A key with an emerald in the center. So... We have to unlock a door now. I don't know if that was towards the statues. Oh, actually. Okay, that freaked me out. <laughs> Are you getting crazy? I swear I could see people seconds ago, and they vanished. You're gonna have to peel me off the ceiling. That totally freaked me out. Ooh. All right. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this key works here. There we go. Oh, this is neat. Another language thing that we can transcribe. Oh, I love this rotation. Look at this. This is so cool. Oh! I have to somehow figure out what to do with these arms. Yeah, I don't know which pose opens it just yet. What was that? A monkey-shaped orchid. Okay. An old screwdriver. Ah. So these are some serious treasures here. The sacred emerald Buddha. Better leave it here, or I will be welcome in Thailand. Yes, that's right. We were in. We are in Thailand, and from what I recall, it is in that kind of World War One time frame. I mean, it's called the Kingdom of Thailand, so. Definitely more of a historical. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Historical time frame here. So we have a screwdriver. Why don't we just uh, pop back and take care of that business here? And it just occurred to me that I have this shiny yellow thing flying around. Maybe I can use my net. Yeah, there we go. We have a perfectly crafted miniature insect. Because, you know, those are cool. Looks like we're gonna need to get this out of here. Old screwdriver should do the trick. Or do I actually have to do it? I do I have to like rotate my finger around in circles. Maybe the other direction? Are you serious? Wow, that's so cool. I'm actually rubbing my finger on my iPad surface to do that. Nice. A monkey shaped orchid. Unbreakable. I don't have the combination. Can I not have this though? Strange safe. Hang on a second. No, I guess I'm not allowed to have that. Unless, uh. No, I don't know why I can't have this. Let's see. Oh! Let's go back to my journal here and see what we got here. We have a royal pantheon safe that we just found. I need to raise the old wall that's blocking the way to the lying Buddha statue. The richness of these notes is fantastic. And uh, I... I don't know, I, maybe I sound a little bit over anxious here, but I'm just finding the game, the production value of this game is fantastic. It appears to me like they've put a lot of dedication and devotion into making this game. And you guys all know that I've played a lot of these kind of games, so... Cool. So I have to keep my eye out for flying butterflies. And, uh... Oh. Oh, see, there's another one. Speak of the devil. Two out of four. Okay. So let's go over here, then. We should find another one over here, perhaps. Maybe not. I can't remember if there was one in here or not. Doesn't look like it. The other thing is when I do hold my iPad in my hands, I can tilt it just slightly up and down. And of course left and right. It's kind of neat. Obviously, it feels to me a little bit better to use my fingers to do this, but... You could hold it in two hands and play this game. No problem. Okay. 
Let's see, let's go back here. Maybe we can see something back over this way. We can go inside here to the li library. Ah, see, there you go. There's one right there. Got you. Three out of four. Monkey shaped orchid. I don't know if that would go in his hand, maybe? I don't know, I'll try it. No? Okay. Gotta go back. We'll go down under the uh, secret area here. Let's see what we see. Oh, there you go. There's the other four out of four. I don't know why I need these bugs, to be honest with you. There's a skeleton over here. It looks like someone got stuck here for a bit too long. That can't be good. So what do I need these bugs for now? And the uh, recharging of the hint is fantastic. Especially when we're just looking for directional stuff. That's one of my biggest pet peeves is when developers make uh, the directional hints count as a full hint. And that's just not fair. It just, it slows the game down way too much, and I find it frustrating. It's a temple I must replace the prize offering with one of a similar value. Or where do I put it, though? I'm not sure. Put that up there, maybe? Hmm. Okay. Whoa! Now I have a lighter! Lighters are cool! What am I gonna be lighting up? I'm not even sure now. It's not here, apparently. Okay, let's have a look. This guy's creepy in the corner here. <laughs> Jeez. Sure, if we can just uh, light that up, or maybe we can light this up. Hmm. Oops, what do I do here? Oh, I see the bugs go here, of course. Oh, Nito, we have to place the bugs and have them light up all the area. That is so cool. Neato Mosquito, even though there's Neato Firefly. Oh, we gotta do it again now, cool. Oh, jeez, did I actually do that? Uh, I think maybe like this. Put it in the corners. How's that not working, game? Oh, I see you got some shadows here. Ah, tricky. Hmm. Yeah, that's not good, is it? This is so neat. I love this. Extremely responsive. I'll get you over there. I think I got it. Yay! Ooh, what do we have in here? Brother, the temple has thick walls. We'll need to... We'll need it when the time comes. Okay. 22 seconds, really? Alright, fine. Oh wow, it's a theater. Okay, that I did not expect. Creepy theater, in fact. The projection displays tomorrow's death. I have a bad feeling about this. Mm -hmm. The projection displays tomorrow's date. I have a bad feeling about this. Yes, I agree. A worthless piece of old cloth. Okay. So we have to blow something up. I don't remember exactly what we're blowing up. The walls. I'm not sure if that's the the guy in the library, is it? I think so. 
And I have the lighter, so let's go ahead and put that in his hand. Maybe. Or not. No, not there. Oh, up top. It's too dusty. Okay, well, let's clean it off then. Oh, I gotta squeegee it myself. <laughs> it's like a scratching ticket. With my fingertip here. Every last detail. Ooh, we gotta place place the elements, do we? Very snappy, which is really nice. This element probably goes there. Uh, or bunny rabbit. Five. More code. Three, one, two. That's the code for the safe. So we're not using dynamite just yet. I guess we'll go back to the safe then. Hmm. Sure, why not? I am curious to see what's inside of it. There we go. So I guess we... Let's see if I can do this easily. So that's three. No, oh, do I? So I'm not exactly sure if this means like go back around to one, or do I go one position? We'll go around to one. No, maybe not. Three, four. Yeah. Okay. So it's actually the number of notches that I have to move. Two, and four, and back one. There we go. And what do we have here? The gold leaf, step ladder, and an ancient gold bracelet, and also something else there. Wow, our inventory is filling up nicely here. Bandage, ancient gold bracelet, small wooden step ladder. Let's hope that no one sees me with it. <laughs> yeah, we have this strap to our back here. Clever. So what do I need a step ladder for? Something over here. Hmm. Interesting. Inside here? Sure. So we need to be able to step ladder maybe? I'm not sure where I'm supposed to put it. Oh, there we go. I won't take any offering. There must be something here for me. A little bit of an explosive fuse. Sure. That's always handy. So now, the question is, what am I blowing up? I thought it was the dude at the library, but... Let's go see here. Beautiful moon tonight. Nope, it's down here. Okay. So where am I going to blow up here? The little crack in the wall makes total sense to me now. Put that in there. Put that in there. And light it up and run. What? What is this actually over here? Fishing line. What did that say? The longer the fuse, the less chance of becoming part of the walls. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. I gotta use my finger and stretch it out. Maybe that's enough? Run! <laughs> Who's this guy? Julian! Oh, please, call me doctor. I haven't heard from you in such a refreshingly long time. So you didn't get my letters. The Army Postal Service wasn't so reliable. No, I did not. The rumors are true. I don't feel like talking about it. I heard you took over my office. It's Dr. Young's office now? You used to call me Melissa. The student became a professor. That's the cycle of life. 
After all, you had the best professor and... And I was your best student. With plenty of room for improvement. So, you received an invitation from the Queen? Yes, an offer I couldn't refuse. Have you met the young monk yet? No, he vanished before I had the chance. By the way, let me introduce you to my ga... Uh, what? Where has he gone? Hmm. Let's split up so we can find the young monk. I have a bad feeling about this. You know, in Tibet, he goes by a different name. The Buddha. Buddha? So the young monk is the reincarnation of the enlightened. Buddha himself. Ha 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 Buddha himself. Alright, folks, we're out of time, but we'll be back. We got more Melissa Kane. It looks like we have our handsome professor slash colleague that will be helping us out here. I'm your Gibbs. I'd love to hear your thoughts on Melissa K. And also, I would greatly appreciate some feedback on sharing an iPad game with all of you. Please let me know in the comments down below. That would be fantastic.